Yuna, we're going to Yuna. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's, that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. <laughs> Soon we'll be able to translate those Muspelheim runes. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring the mirror back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer though. Balder, and you fought it, and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Well, times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or sup. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Always a pleasure.
Now fuck right along. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. back to the witch from here. That one, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? Ready yourself, boy! This is more 
more than decipher those muscle hammers. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? I bet this will be out. Turn back AC. Guess the gods are welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. their need things upon all who trust them. I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mila. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. <sighs> Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. 
Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Face. No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Amir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! Got that time horn! For a favor? That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Oh, uh, ha ha ha! You know, I've still got it, lads. You're 
remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I even see new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. says now but it's a name air whoa the name made it light up it's the name of one of the valkyries that's quite curious so when we get to the boat we can either look for that special chisel now or go exploring for a little while i'm happy with whatever you want to do Nightmare! Uh, what awful pests! Uh, Fire from behind! Something. Armor piece? Oh, I hope it's a new armor piece. Atreus, follow me.
Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Sindri, check this out. My, we're excited to spend some hack silver, aren't we? to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. It was a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. among the living. My beloved Gulving calls to me. She yearns for peace. You want... Gulving, say the... Really? Boy. I can smell you. Boy. They've taken three of sweet Gulving's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. This chisel we seek, what is it? 
I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. There was a giant once named Flamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Look, he fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Oh, over. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Very giant chisel. Akuma! Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. We'll need something to get through this one. A 
Atreus, follow me. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead. Are we doing this? Prepare yourself. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw, but how do we get it down? That did it! Can you read it? To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. <laughs> 